Hey YouTube, in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Uni Mark Sheet HB Pencils. Okay, well this has been in my queue for quite some time and I thought well now is a good time as any to check this pencil out. And the reason I would have purchased these when I did, which was long ago, but I hadn't gotten around to reviewing it, is because I'm looking for all pencils smooth and dark. Those are my favorites and those are the ones I continue to seek out as I purchase different pencils. So let's take a close look at this box before we open it up. Now you can see on this side here it's pretty plain just says Uni then I imagine this must be uh, Japanese uh, I hope um, that I'm right because it's Uni I figure Japanese company mark sheet which tells me that this is for like doing test and it's graded as an HB pencil. Here's what the side looks like Here's the other side, there's the other side, and this is the back, right here. And I don't see anything in English here, so we'll just go on with opening up the package. The one side was already kind of loose, so we'll just open this side here, and we'll see what we have. Okay, now let me just pull this away just a little bit. First off, it's a very good looking pencil. And it's just like a drawing pencil in that it doesn't come with an eraser on the end. And you'll notice that it has the grade written on the end here just like a drawing pencil would have. And if we turn around, we see there's one on the other side. So there's one on one side, one on the other. And it does say Japan, so that most likely was Japanese. Then you have the ugly barcode that you see on a lot of pencils, unfortunately. And then it says established, and I believe that says 1887, Mitsubishi Mark Sheet. So it's a Mitsubishi Uni pencil. So the next thing to do, of course, is to sharpen the pencil and see how it looks, writes, and all that other good stuff. And if it sounds like it's sharpening way too long and it's shrinking the pencil, it is and it isn't. That particular pencil sharpener makes these incredible long points. So it sh sharpens all the way down to here, but you can still see I have plenty of pencil left. Now time to bring out the paper. Here was the Blackwing 42 that I recently uh, just reviewed and this was with their Balanced Graphite which is a typically uh, dark tonal value graphite. So I'm going to write on the same sheet of paper here because that would give me something to compare with. thought that was a good idea. So let's go ahead and I'm going to write something down here, probably a bunch of gibberish, I don't know, whatever comes to mind. And I want to kind of get a feel for how smooth it is, how dark it is, and we'll go from there. Okay, so, in the beginning, beginning, that's two ends, three ends. In the beginning, this pencil is proving to be smooth. All right, so this is definitely a smooth pencil. It glides really nice on the paper. And as you can see, it has good tonal value. 
Compare it to the Blackwing, which is like the Blackwing Pearl. It's the balanced graphite. And you can see right there. As a matter of fact, I happen to have that Blackwing 42 right here because I just finished reviewing it. So I'm going to write these side by side. What better pencil to compare this mark sheet HB to than the balanced lead of a Blackwing? So this is the Blackwing. Okay, and this is the mark sheet. All right. Black wing. Mark sheet. All right. The black wing edges out the mark sheet for smoothness. It feels smoother, even though the mark sheet is a smooth pencil. The tonal value is close, but I'm going to try by putting a little swath here and just seeing if I can tell much of a difference doing it this way. Yes, the black wing is definitely smoother. And the black wing has a slightly darker tonal value, which you should be able to notice that it is darker than the HB, which the balance should be. The 602 would be closer to the HB value than a balance. The balance would be a little darker, and it is a little darker. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring out just another standard HB pencil. Let's see, I'm going to put my 42 away here on my desk. And let me find me another HB pencil. Here's like a Amazon Basics HB pencil. Give it a point. Let's see how it compares to a basic HB pencil. Okay, so this is the Amazon. Basics, HB, feels pretty standard. Okay. Put a point on the mark sheet to be fair. Okay, so then this one here is the, oh, it is smoother and darker immediately, the mark sheet, HB. And then I'll put it right here next to it. All right. So you can see that even though the balanced black wing is darker than the uh, mark sheet HB, the Mark Sheet HB is darker than the Amazon Basics HB, and it is definitely smoother. So, without a doubt, the Mark Sheet is an above average HB pencil because it was just compared with an average HB pencil, which is in my collection kit because it is still a decent HB pencil. And so, uh, kudos to uh, Mitsubishi for making this Mark Sheet. It's smooth, not as smooth as a Blackwing, but nor is it $2 a pencil like a Blackwing. It's an HB, so of course it's not going to be as dark as the balanced, but it will be likely uh, as dark as an HB pencil, or not an HB, but a Blackwing 
let's say the Blackwing 602, and we can certainly confirm that by digging into this mass of pencils again. So I won't leave you hanging wondering how it compares to an, a 602, okay? I'm going to go in here and see if I find me a 602 somewhere. It's time for me to get a bigger box because I am all out of room in here. Maybe the 602 is on my desk? Let me see. Yeah, the 602 sitting on my desk and I'm going through all this for nothing. Okay. So, let me put all these wonderful pencils back in here. Wow. I definitely don't have any more room in here. Sharpen this. Okay, so we have the 602 and we have the mark sheet. So let's compare the two. And this will be the last comparison I'm going to do in this video. So zoom back in again. Okay, so we have the black wing, nice and smooth. 602. Okay. And then we have the, the uni mark sheet. And you can see the tonal quality is comparable. The feeling of smoothness can't tell the difference so to the best that I can tell to my sensory perception here the mark sheet appears to draw or write pretty much the same as a Blackwing 602 the Blackwing 602 of course is the two dollar fancy pencil and the mark sheet HB is going to be much less than that uh, probably no more than a buck, but you can definitely verify how much it is in your area. I bought it by the box, so I know I did not pay um, too much for this. So there you go, folks. The Mitsubishi Uni Mark Sheet HB Pencil. It's a really good pencil. It's smooth. It's got good tonal quality. It compares favorably to the Blackwing 602 in smoothness and tonal quality. Of course, the Blackwing has the appearance, the fancy eraser and ferrule and all that. But hey, it depends on what you're looking for. This one does not come with an eraser, so keep that in mind. Well, I hope you like this quick review, and if so, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.